I would like to put in context a number of different concepts. Now, concept number one is a self-declared climate crisis. Political decisions are taken whereby we move away from a functioning energy system and we don't weigh up the consequences for the European economy. Now, an economy, by the way, not only finances environmental protection, but also makes technological innovations possible, the kinds of innovations that we need for our world and for our planet and for people. And environmental protection, that's concept number two, has nothing to do with climate protection, concept number three. Cutting down forests to build wind turbines in the breeding grounds of waterfowl is the polar opposite of environmental protection. The functioning of economy is dependent on the availability of energy. But we always talk about renewables and that has led us to a fatal geostrategic dependence on gas. This is the cause of our energy crisis, concept number four. Now, the fact that we now have a shortage of energy and the huge cost that, that entails for now repurposing our energy systems and moving away from carbon pricing is leading to energy poverty, concept number five. Gas sanctions against Russia have driven up gas prices, doing enormous damage to ourselves in the process but they're not actually the root cause of what is a scientific, political and ideological energy crisis which is laying waste to our economies and impoverishing our citizens. The Green Deal, the climate laws, Fit for 55, Green Hydrogen are all expressions of an absolutely crazy green destruction of prosperity. It is not the climate crisis which is causing chaos, Mr. Timmerson's. Rather, it is the climate demagogues who are going around the world and pushing through the kinds of policies which are to the detriment of their own citizens, and that is anthropogenic. Yeah, Monsieur. Thank you very much. Ms. Mesur, for one minute, please. 